Okay, how do we chase a ballot? What is that? What do you what do you do to chase a ballot? You have to knock on someone's door. You're making a phone call. You send them a text message. How do you chase a ballot? So, so in in Florida and a lot of these states, you actually know who's requested absentee ballots. And in Florida, I know because I actually am related to some of the people that have run the absentee ballot program in Florida for, for multiple cycles. It then becomes a series of mail pieces, phone calls, texts, even door knocks. Hey, we know you've got an absentee ballot. You haven't returned it yet. All of our contacts will stop if you will return your ballot. It literally becomes we know who, is, who has requested a ballot, who's been sent a ballot. And then it becomes, quite frankly, a series of harassments until they actually return their ballot. Um, I know for a fact in Arizona this cycle, there are there were hundreds of thousands of absentee ballots requested by Republicans that were never returned. And so unless we actually figure out how to have a very highly systematic metric driven absentee ballot chase, we're going to leave, I mean, potentially hundreds of thousands of ballots and votes on the table uh, in these key states. Okay, Ned, the Florida model, I, I, let's, let's assume we can get past the mental block, as you pointed out. Right. The Florida model, can it work in places like Pennsylvania, Michigan, Arizona? I know every state kind of operates things differently. Is that model transferable? Because 2024 ain't that far away. Yeah, most of it will, actually. Uh, I mean, the thing that I remind people in Florida, Republicans are able to win. There's no ballot harvesting. There's no ballot uh, drop boxes in Florida. Yet everything that they've been able to do with the early mail-in and, and absentee ballot chase really does apply to, to pretty much every other state. Uh, you know, again, I, I couldn't tell you the exact minutia. There might be a few changes here and there, but the basic premise is, again, over a million absentee ballots requested in Arizona by Republican voters, and on election day, hundreds of thousands of them were still missing. So it does apply. We can adapt. We can do it. I know that people are already having serious conversations about how we take that and apply it to really about 10 to 12 states that I think are going to be very key in 2024. But but the matter, it, it has to be an issue of, of will. Are we going to do it? It has to be an issue of funding. Because when I talk about an absentee ballot chase program in Florida, we're not talking about a couple million dollars. It's millions and millions of dollars. But winning, winning is worth it. Subscribe to the First TV today for instant access to exclusive specials and content you actually want to watch. Your support helps the First TV fuel the fight against those seeking to destroy our right to free speech. Simply visit thefirsttv.com support to join the fight today.